My name is Cornelius Kronlager from the University Hospital Basel, Switzerland. I am presenting the case of a 44-year-old man who developed Parkinson's syndrome over a few weeks. In the video, you can see his gait at the first neurological presentation. Also note the marked hypomemia. The patient had been seen in our hepatology outpatient clinic about a year earlier for elevated liver function tests. Seroloplasmin in serum was reduced at that time, but a liver biopsy did not show any copper accumulation. The patient's neurological status deteriorated over the following weeks, as you can see in the next part of the video. The symptoms did not respond to L-DOPA. A DUT scan showed symmetrically reduced presynaptic dopamine transporter density in the striatum. Similar to a year before, seroloplasmin in serum was reduced, also urinary copper excretion was elevated, indicating Wilson's disease. However, there were no signs of a Kaiser Fleischer ring in the slit lamp examination. Another liver biopsy again showed no copper accumulation using rhodonine staining. Contrarily, using atomic absorption spectrometry, we found a markedly increased copper concentration in the liver tissue. Genetic testing confirmed the diagnosis of Wilson's disease. As our case illustrates, Wilson's disease is an important differential diagnosis of Parkinsonism and liver cirrhosis. Even if the patient is over 40 years of age, there are no Kaiser Fleischer rings and histopathology using rhodonine staining shows no copper accumulation in a liver biopsy. Notably, there is causal treatment. The last part of the video shows our patient's improved neurological condition after five months of treatment with the chelation agent Trientine. We would like to thank the patient for his permission to publish this report and thank you for your attention.